Former President Donald Trump has uh, posted on X, which was formerly Twitter, for the first time in almost a year. Now, ahead of a conversation with uh, Elon Musk, uh, he went ahead and registered himself in the, on the platform. Trump uh, was removed from the site on January 6, 2021 because of the riots and was reinstated after Musk bought the microblogging site. Let's take a look at the first video that was put on Twitter or platform X by uh, Donald Day Trump. Projected winner of the presidential race, Donald Trump wins the presidency. What started off as unlikely, impossible, is now reality. I will fight for you with every breath in my body, and I will never, ever let you down. We have a president who actually fulfilled the promises he made during Trump, the campaign. Securing the border to foreign she policy. She now has a record as president that's pretty damn impressive. Breaking news out of Paul The Beach FBI Florida. has executed an unprecedented search warrant at President Donald Trump's Trump against Mar-a-Lago. Douglas State. The president has both sides of the political aisle this up is in a arms. dangerous and unstable moment in American history. The Justice Department has just indicted former President Donald Trump. For seven years, they hated him, they targeted him, they hunted him. This is the epitome of the abuse of the prosecutorial power to preempt political decisions. I never thought anything like this could happen. In America, the only crime that I have committed is to fearlessly defend our nation from those who seek to destroy it. The more that a broken system tells you that you're wrong, the more certain you should be that you must keep pushing ahead. They want to take away my freedom because I will never let them take away your freedom. They want to silence me because I will never let them silence you. They're not coming after me, they're coming after you, and I just happen to be standing in their way, and I will never be moving. On November 5th, 2024, justice will be done. We will take back our country, and we will make America great again. America will always rise to every challenge and overcome every danger. Donald Trump uh, seems to always get stronger when challenged. These types of things, I think, give him strength. When I'm reelected, I will totally obliterate the deep state. As long as we have pride in our beliefs, courage in our convictions, and faith in our God, then we will not fail. Well, the much-awaited dialogue between billionaire and ex-CEO Elon Musk and former U.S. President Donald Trump is now live. Now, the broadcast on X was, however, delayed due to some technical glitches due to which the hashtag crashed was trending on number one on the same platform, X, indicating users were experiencing access issues and were unable to tune into the event. However, during the interview or the dialogue process or the talk process, as Elon Musk had, in fact, uh, said, uh, Donald Trump launched scathing attack on U.S. President Joe Biden and blamed him for the Ukraine invasion. Trump claimed that Russia would not have invaded Ukraine if Biden was not the president. Trump claimed that he got along very well with Putin and he too respected him. Now, Trump also described a time when he allegedly counseled Putin against invading Ukraine. Let's listen into some of those interesting aspects of that interview. Well, uh, what, 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 what we what were you about to say about illegal immigration before you were rudely interrupted? Well, I was going to say how good the numbers were. By the way, we're going back to Butler, and we're going to Great. go back in October. We're all set up, and we're the people are fantastic in Butler. It's a big, it's a great area. It's great. These are incredible people. Uh, like the three that, in the case of Corey killed, and the other two, the the families are. I got to know them a little bit, and the families are great. But we're going back to Butler. And even the people that put it up, they were unprepared, and, and they did a great job. They got it up immediately, fortunately. But I looked to the right, and and the bullet and the bullet came whizzing by, hitting my ear. Uh, so it was amazing. But when you think of the odds of that, and yeah, you, yeah. you know that that normally you wouldn't use it. Normally I wouldn't have the thing, and then you know yeah. it would have been a very different story. It's it's very much, I. I say an act of God, it's a miracle that it happened. And uh, we had sure. more people than you'd have at 
you know, some of these matches or, or these games, and uh, nobody left. You know, you had a, a small group behind us in the grandstand, and that was full, and you look at it as it was taking place, and normally they'd be running. They didn't leave. They saw that I was hurt. They saw a lot of blood, and they saw that I went down, and it's almost like they wanted to be with me. Well, out front, you had thousands, tens of thousands of people. You, as far as the eye could see, you had people in Butler, as far as the eye could see. And and uh, yeah. and a lot of press, too. There were, you know, many cameras on watching this. It's what made makes it so different, because normally things happen that aren't good, but you never have a picture of it. Here we have all these cameras shooting it. Meanwhile, Trump also hit out at rival Kamala Harris, calling her a left extremist. Rewriting history and um, and making uh, Kamala sound like a moderate when, in fact, she is far left, like far, far left. Worse than Bernie um, Sanders. She is considered yeah. more liberal by far than Bernie Sanders. She's a radical left lunatic. You know, Netanyahu came to give a, a talk to you know, a, a joint uh, Senate and House uh, sitting, and I was there, and, and, and Kamala stood him up. You know, what does that say? I think um, it's highly disrespectful. Uh, and I say, if you're a Jewish person or if you believe in Israel, if you're a, a person that, you know, is a very pro-Israel, if you vote for her, it's worse than Biden. And Biden was bad. But if you vote for her, you ought to have your head examined. And you see tonight, I mean, as we're doing this, I'm seeing reports coming that they expect an attack tonight or tomorrow from hundreds and maybe thousands of rockets. It's, I think it's a, a massive, I think, I think we're in massive trouble, uh, frankly, with, with the Kamala administration, and that's my honest opinion. Um, and uh, and I, I, think, uh, I think really it's essential that, that uh, you win for the good of the country uh, for this election. And that, I mean, that's understating my opinion. Like we're having a great conversation right now. Kamala wouldn't have this conversation. She can't because she's not no. smart. You know, she's not a smart person, by the way. She can't have this conversation. This is a, this is a really big point. You can actually have a conversation yeah. with you. Yeah, it's nice, isn't it? <laughs> and you can't have a conversation with Biden or Kamala. It's like not, uh, it's not possible. Yeah.